Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Trina Bobina, sitting out in my car. It is literally almost 1 o'clock in the morning, um, and I'm out of my car um, at a clinic waiting on Honey to uh, finish doing what he's doing inside. Um, he won't be coming out of there until like 5 o'clock, but... Um, so... Today is Friday, and I am thinking of turning my YouTube channel into a um, Christian YouTube channel. Um, I've really been, like, focusing on fasting and praying and the more and more I fast and I pray it's like I come to this conclusion that things that I used to do I'm no longer doing in my life and I want every part of my life to reflect that just that you know um, I used to straddle the fence a lot, you know what I'm saying, and um, just do little stupid stuff, you know, no God, but didn't want to use the tools, you know, of the word in the Bible, you know, um, I guess you could say I was being rebellion and a brat. Oh, I know God. I know he forgive. Blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. I'm going to still do what I'm going to do. But it's time off for all of that. And um, I'm getting very, very serious. Like, um, January, no, December the 30th, I started fasting around 2 p.m. on December the 30th. And I fast all the way until January the 1st at 1 a.m. So that was 30 plus hours of me fasting and praying, you guys, because I am so serious about where my life is going for 2022 until it's ridiculous. Do not get me wrong. I have everything that I could possibly want in the world. I own everything that I have. I, I love my life. I have a good wholesome relationship with honey i so i'm happy you see what i'm saying but it was some areas in my life um issues that i was working on like anger issues um depression um and I had valid reasons to be angry. I had valid reasons to be depressed and things like that. I, I believe what happened to me was when my dad died, it took a lot from me because that was my rock. You know, I'm, I was a big daddy's girl. You know what I'm saying? So when my dad died, the humbleness that I had left a lot of love that I used to carry for people left, you know, just, and, and, and I just turned into this, this storm. At first I was a quiet storm. I turned into a raging storm, you know, and I, I'm back at being in peace, you guys. And it feels so good. And I have no one but God to thank for that. Because it was a long road to get me to where I am right now. Um, and I noticed that because I'm doing what God say do. And um, I bless those when he blessed me. And I love people unconditionally, regardless if I know them or not. I help people regardless if I know them or not. Um, I start to notice that God has started to gift me things um, that I've been praying for. Rather it be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, materialistically. And most importantly, more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in his word. 
And I'm loving every minute of this journey, you all. Like, oh my God. I... <laughs> I never thought that God could make me feel this way. Yeah, I know that he's this big, awesome God. He's the beginning and the end. But I was so caught up in myself that I didn't give him time to work with me. I wasn't being still. Even though I knew his word and, and, I, was, and, I, and I, know, I know it, you know, I never practiced it. I never practiced his word and, 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 and was obedient according to his word. And now that I am, oh my God, it's amazing, you guys. So I want you guys to follow me on my Christian journey of not straddling the fence. Yes, I'm going to have some ups and downs. I understand that. And I want you guys to go through that with me because I want you to see the outcome that I have. It's a lot of big things coming up for me in 2022. <laughs> and, and it's a secret. I can't say anything about what it is. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Because this is something that I've been fighting for years and years and years. And it is finally here. And I'm excited because the reason why I'm so excited, you guys, because this is a gift from God. When it happens, I will let you guys know what it is. But just know this. It was a gift from God. Only God pointed me in that direction to get what I got. I was going to choose something else, but instead God made me put what I was going to choose down and pick something else. And Lord, I never knew, never knew in a million years that this would be me getting ready to come up in a situation that you all will find out. And, and, by all means, please do not get me wrong. I'm not changing my life because this big thing is about to happen to me. And I know it's going to happen this year. But I'm changing my life because he makes me feel good. He makes me feel loved. He makes me feel appreciated. He takes all of my worries away. He, he sees the anger inside of me. He give me the love to give to others, you know, so I'm like, why not? Why not? Yes, I love him so much. I am in love with him. So I'm actually fasting right now, you guys. Um, you're not supposed to let anyone know when you're fasting. You see what I'm saying? That's supposed to be between you and God. And the people that you're doing the fast with, that's only supposed to be between you all. But because um, this video will be out after my fast, I can go ahead and say it. So right now I'm actually fasting. And I've prayed. I prayed. I started praying at 11. Um, Around 12 o'clock I ended it. Probably earlier than that I ended the prayer and so i'm fasting for 24 hours and this fast here is with the with my church um the fast that i did for new years for the 30 plus hours that was all me no one had to tell me to do that no one had to pull me and say you need to do this no that was something that i wanted to do to show god that hey i am with you 100 percent. i'm not straddling the fence i'm gonna obey i'm gonna listen to your word and i'm gonna be still i'm gonna move when you tell me to move and i'm going to live life to the fullest according to his word because the only way that I'm going to make it out here in this world is with God. So, yeah, that's I, I got to give him all the glory and all the praise. I, I have to and I have to I have to buckle down and do what I need to do 
to to show him hey you didn't create nothing you know what i'm saying you didn't create nothing you created something you see what I'm saying? I want the potential that he has for me, you know, and the potential that he's seeing me to come out in me for others to see as well. So <laughs> enough of me being ignorant and crazy. Um, even though I'm on antidepressants, you all, um, <sighs> I've been through a lot. That'll be on another video that I do. You know what I'm saying? But this one is mainly about me fasting and praying and um, introducing you guys to who I am as a Christian and not the person that just help people, you know, and, and the business person and the worker and, the, you know, just all of that type of stuff. No, this is me. This is Trina. This is who I am. This is who I'm going to be. And I hope you guys follow my journey. If you like what you hear and you see, please like, share, and subscribe. Please share this journey with me. I want you here with me. And if you're a Christian YouTuber, please, by all means, subscribe to my channel. I've subscribed to a few of them. But if you subscribe to my channel, I will also subscribe to yours. That's how we're going to do this thing. I'm new to this Christian YouTube stuff. I'm I'm good at the Christian you, uh, TikTok. I'm good at the Christian TikTok because it doesn't require much. But... I want to be able to show young teen girls and women of my age and men and boys, you know, that it can be done. It can be done because a lot of people gave up in God because of situations in their life and they feel like, oh, he ain't no good. But. I'm a walking testimony, you all, and I have a lot of stories that I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to go ahead and open up and be honest with y'all about my life history, um, what I've been through from a teenager to an adult, and trust me, you guys, these are stories you will not want to miss. So I hope you subscribe to my channel, check your girl out, um... You might as well say that I'm a Christian thug because I'm going to tell it like it is. It is what it is. Um, but I am respectable and I'm very mannerable. And I treat everyone with love and kindness. So, yeah, I hope to uh, you guys check me out. Um, I'm, you're going to follow me for the rest of the day. Um, like I said, it's what, maybe going on. 1.30 now, 2 o'clock in the morning here in Houston. Um, So you're going to follow me when it get daylight and things like that. And um, you're going to go with me to the church tonight for this fasting and the praying. I'm going to bring you guys along. I want you guys to see what's happening and what goes on in the life of Trina. Okay, so talk to you guys later.